Hey guys, Kim Java here. So we are getting all packed up to go on a 700 mile road trip and we have the ultimate performance Model Y to do it in. So our Model 3 is currently with T-Sport Line, who actually has an Atlanta presence now and we have a future project coming up with them that's pretty exciting. There you Whoa. go. But wait till you see everything this Model Y has up its sleeves. This brand new Performance Model Y is in the process of being one of the most aggressive Model Ys you'll ever see. It's fitted with T-Sport Line's Overland Wheel and Tire Package, which alone gives the Model Y a half inch lift. This setup makes the Model Y a beast off-road and in deep snowy climates, but as we learned on our road trip, they're insanely street friendly and quiet too. In a few weeks, this Y will be fitted with T-Sport Line's new lift kit, giving it nearly a two and a half inch lift when combined with these tires. Auxiliary lighting for those camping trips is next, and what's crazy is that T-Sport Line tells us most of these parts will actually fit the Model 3 as well. And yes, a Model X Overland package is in the works too. For our 700 mile beach trip, we'll pack this Model Y with our three kids plus all of our gear, using just about every single square inch both inside and out. On the glass roof above, we'll tag along two bikes using the Tree Frog bike rack system, as it's really the best non-permanent bike option for Teslas and goes on and off in about five minutes. Each mount holds up to a 45 pound bike and the suction cup creates about 240 pounds of pull strength and it's rated for highway speeds so you know it's not going anywhere. T-Sportline confirmed the 18 inch overland wheels and tires would impact range roughly the same as Tesla's 21 inch Uber turbines. Though these tires are more aggressive, aero is the biggest influence on range and the 18 inch wheels make up for some of that loss. Factor that and the bikes above and we'll see just how much impact this combination will have on range. So we've gone on a lot of short little road trips around town with the bikes on top of the car before, but we've never gone on a long road trip like what we're doing with the bikes on top. So I'm really curious how that's gonna affect our range. There's one spot in the trip that makes me a little bit nervous because it's a longer ride between superchargers and our destination. So if we mess up, get on the wrong road, we could be in trouble. But um, praying everything turns out okay. Pretty cool view. Um, it'll be nice to have bikes, our own bikes, down at the beach too. So what's really interesting about today's road trip is that Performance Model Y has about a 300 miles of range. And right now we have these really cool Overland tires, wheels on our car, and they have about a 10 to 12% range loss, which is about the same as the Uber Turbine 21 inch wheels. Um, but we also have the bikes on top, so we have never done that with the Model Y before. We did it with our Model 3, and that was about a 10 to 12 range loss as well. Looking at our energy consumption, in the first leg of our trip at mostly 75 miles an hour, we stayed around 370 watt hours per mile, or about 12% higher than the previous 21 inch wheels on this Tesla showed without the bikes on top. So the Overland package perfectly mirrored the efficiency of the 21 inch Tesla wheels. All right, so we just got to the supercharger. Um, we have our bikes, they're all on their sturdy. We're gonna charge up. But we noticed right here, there's this gorgeous Model X that has bikes on their car as well. So I'm kind of curious if I can knock on their window and ask them what their watt hour per mile they're getting with with the bikes on the back. Turns out the owner of this Model X Don is an avid viewer of this channel and got his wrapped at the same place we did. We have four kids and so part of the reason we were evaluating the Model X so did the car seats fit? One of your first yeah. videos, I remember watching that well, way before we bought our... Right models. now we're taking T-Sport Line. We uh, borrowed their Model Y this weekend. And I love the Model Y, but I miss my Model X I, so much. Any update like, on your delivery date? Well, it just went back again. So it's gone like they've moved it back a year and then they moved it back to, I think it was August and now it's October. It's just been a roller coaster. Don's 2019 long range Model X with bikes on the back showed about 400 watt hours per mile on the same trip. It was almost identical to his lifetime watt hours per mile, though he told us he was driving a lot slower on this trip than he usually does without bikes. We fully charged here while grabbing a bite to eat, knowing that our next leg of over 200 miles through the back roads of Alabama and no superchargers en route would be the most challenging. 
It's been kind of nice because we're on all these back highway roads and the speed's pretty low. It's only like 55, so it is ideal for preserving our battery, which is what we need right now. Looks like we're gonna arrive at our destination with, I don't know, about 11% is what it's saying right now. So we'll get there. All right, guys, I am super stoked to tell you about this because one of the nation's best nonprofit groups fighting climate change just announced a raffle for 2022 Rivian R1T Launch Edition. And what's probably the most unique about this raffle is that they have the actual R1T on hand. So you're not waiting until 2024 to get this truck. The nonprofit group Seacan has this truck in their garage and the raffle runs through summer and you get your keys immediately after the raffle. Seriously, no other raffle can claim that. There's only 5,500 tickets being sold, so your odds are better than most as well. Tickets are only $200 and all proceeds fund the nonprofit's work to promote clean energy nationwide. And if a Rivian isn't what you want, the raffle winner can choose a build your own Tesla instead worth up to $135,000. Get your tickets at www.evraffle.org. That's evraffle.org. Support a great cause with this nonprofit and pick up your Rivian or Plaid Model S this summer. After nearly four more hours of driving and a couple more emergency diaper stops, we closed in on our destination. All right, so we are at 24% right now, but we're supposed to arrive at 8%. And we looked on plug chair to see if there's anywhere we could possibly stop to charge because again, we have another emergency diaper situation, um, but there's nowhere. Luckily we found the gas station. We're gonna quickly stop and do that at Elon. If you're listening, put in a charger anywhere, anywhere here. <laughs> so this is gonna sound kind of ridiculous to a lot of people, but when we arrive at our destination, we're gonna have about 6% right now is what it's telling us. But we have to stop on the way there and shoot our thumbnail. So a lot of people don't realize what goes into making a thumbnail for these kind of videos, but we have this image in our head of what we want to do. So we got to stop with the bike still on the car, which means we have to stop on the way in. So hopefully we still have um, enough range, doesn't affect it too much. I think we'll be okay. We've done these kind of road trips so many times now that we know we'll be good. checking out these overland tires they're working great had to shoot our thumbnail picture so we better get out of here before anyone kicks us out but uh got a great thumbnail that's why you guys watch this video so we actually just got a warning that said batteries very low we recommend charging now so we gotta get home as soon as possible and charge this vehicle but that, that does not mean that you need to go really fast to get home. You'll actually lose more range by driving really fast and gunning it. So it's better to go nice and slow, Hello. even though on the inside your heart might be going fast. <laughs> Move people, we have low range. We gotta go charge up. Everyone's kind of like right there. Uh, I, I suppose I could do the thing where the car... Um... Megaphone? Yeah, the megaphone. Attention! Do that. No, no, <laughs> I don't want to. In the end, our efficiency was 361 watt hours per mile with overland tires and bikes above, compared to about 320 watt hours per mile Tesla advertises with 21 inch wheels and no bikes. So we made it, we just got here, we just pulled in, I'm unpacking and I found an external 110 volt outlet that I'm gonna go ahead and plug into because this car is thirsty. Plugging her in. Oh, there we go. Feed me. Feed me. Initially, the car started charging, though something was a little off. So it was yellow, which was a little bit weird. We are like, well, maybe it's just because it's really, really low. Um, but then we looked and it said there was a fault. Turns out we were using our old cable from 2018, which is right here. And we didn't even think to look for a cable in their car, but actually, it was hidden over here in this little sub trunk area, which we completely forgot about this whole area because I am not used to driving a Model Y, so I didn't even think to look in here. So when we use their cable, the new cable, 
And check this out, there's really not that much of a difference. But when I put this one in, I don't get the error message. So I'm glad this was in here. And you can see it will go and it will start blinking and it will turn green, which is what we expected it to be. And the yellow kind of threw us off a little bit. Um, so I'm glad that we can finally charge this car. So everybody has bikes. They go between all the little beach towns and we actually leave our car here the majority of the trip. So it can sit here, we can charge it and just get around on our bikes. Many people. So, no, really do hard. a cyber honk. Okay, Liam, do a cyber honk. Uh, I don't think it's called a cyber honk. Uh, it should be called a cyber honk. They hear you now. Oh. For you? Can <laughs> I <laughs> get a honk? Yeah. Find that stuff. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Girls are like, what is going on? What's your YouTube? What's your YouTube? It's Kim Java. It's Kim Java. Kim Java? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love kids. All right, so we are gonna go ride our bikes home, pack up the car, pack everything up, and head back to Atlanta. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the car um, or anything, put them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer it, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Liam has a tree frog. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a tree frog. And there's a tree frog on the car in the name of the roof rack. <laughs> Liam, get down. <laughs> I guess you weigh about the same as two bikes. <laughs> I'm a bike. No, I'm a bike. <laughs> yeah, I need a bike with a tree from. You look the same. <gasps> no! Oh, you caught. That was pretty cool. Break the frog, she said. I'm gonna protest. <laughs> Free the frog! No, Free the frog! <laughs> My friend. Oh, oh. <laughs>
Elon Musk.